بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We need to check ourselves all the time Every situation that a believer is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants that believer to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to utilize his potential, his time, his energy, his resources for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala How receptive is my heart to the call of Allah as the news of the janazas around me moved me, as the suffering of the loved ones around me moved me, I've undergone moments where death came to my doorstep and I narrowly, there was a narrow escape from death. I seen death in the eye and he walked away. Is this occasion, is this period, is this time where I'm supposed to be getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, connecting to Allah, connecting to the Qur'an, connecting to Salah, connecting to Dhikr, connecting to the life of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or am I connected to something else? During lockdown, people are saying to us, good son, the chapters, the avenues, the facilities of Batil were closed. They were happy that like sun has stopped. But an animal keeper closes the normal gates and he opens a special gate and that go gate goes to the slaughterhouse. That special gate goes to the slaughterhouse. So Batil also closed certain gates that were normally opened and they opened a special gate. That gate of the platforms of Batil and the connection of Batil where many people were connected to the internet on television, Netflix. An external sun is not so bad, Batil rejoices when the internal system is corrupt. So they close the outside doors so the inside doors can become corrupted. A, a system, a computer, hardware breaks down, you can replace it. But when the system goes down in hacker, when he sends a Trojan, and you click onto it, that infects the entire system and it takes over the PC and now he controls you. So they've not worried about the external, they want to corrupt the system to control us. They'll tell you where to eat, when to eat, where to sleep, who to associate with. This entire platform is the virus. Worse, worse than the external virus that we are witnessing is the internal corruption and the internal virus which is destroying the Iman of the Ummah, which is destroying the Fikr of the Ummah, which is destroying the Ruhaniyat and the spirituality of the Ummah. So we need to check ourselves, did we engage more in the platform of Allah in His Rasul or the platform of Batil? Was this year 2020 a year of connecting more to the internet, tablets, jail phones, cell phones or to Allah in His Rasul? A person who has difficulties, a situation, hardships, but makes one close to Allah is better for him because that was good for him. But he never got close to Allah, he's a double loss. Why? He went through difficulty and hardship and he never found Allah. A person who is unemployed won't stress so much like a person who did work the whole month and didn't get pay. 
دون العذاب الأكبر لعلهم يرجعون. So this is a preparation. This is an incentive from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Now the choice of what the servant makes of it, it's for him to decide. وما أرسلنا في قرية من نبي إلا أخذنا أهلها بالبأس والضراء لعلهم يضرعون. We did not send a nabi in any town, but we grabbed them, we seized them. Its people with distress, affliction. Why? So that they may humble themselves to Allah. So they will submit more. They will turn to Allah more. They will revert to Allah more. In the Kathir Allah, you say, Ba'sa refers to the physical sickness and ailments which people suffer. And the raw refers to poverty and humiliation that people experience. فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَةً وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ So when these conditions did not move them, then we took them when they were unaware. أَفَأَمِنْ أَهْلُ الْقُرَى أَيْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا بَيَاتًا وَهُمْ نَائِمُونَ What do the people of the towns then feel? Do they feel secure? Do they feel guarded? Do they feel protected from the azab of Allah at night while they are sleeping? Or do they feel protected from the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes in the noon period? وَهُمْ يَلْعَبُونَ while they are busy in their affairs, they are unaware, they are negligent, and we take them to task for that. Ibn Qayyim explaining says that when they forgot Allah, then Allah forget, forgot them, and they forgot themselves. Nasu Allaha fa nasiyahum. He said, double calamity. Allah sent two punishments. One is Allah forgets you which is great. And worse is you forget your own self. A person who does not realize the priority in life and the gravity of the situation of Akhirat is at a great loss. So he forgot Allah and he forgot his own goodness is himself. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ Don't be like those who forgot Allah because they forgot Allah. Allah caused them to forget themselves. It will be told to certain groups of people on the day of Qiyamah. الْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاكُمْ كَمَا نَسِيتُمْ لِقَاءَ يَوْمِكُمْ هَذَا Today we will forget you like how you forgot this day when you will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the amal of the ummah and the actions that we are doing are directly proportionate to the conditions. Nabi alayhi salatu was salam addressing the muhajirin Ya ma'ashar al-muhajirin khamsun إِذَا بَتُلِيتُمْ بِهِنَّ وَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَن تُدْرِكُهُنَّ Oh, my beloved Muhajirin, there are five things which you will be tested with and I seek refuge with Allah lest you love to see those days. لَمْ تَذْهَرِ الْفَاحِشَ فِي قَوْمٍ قَطُّ حَتَّى يُعَلِنُوا بِهَا إِلَّا فَشَا فِيهِ مُتَّعُونَ وَالْأَوْجَا Immorality never appears among a people to such an extent that they commit it openly. They perpetrate بِحَيَاءِ immodesty. We don't need to go back in time on these Platforms of Batil, people 
are openly advertising the immorality and they are leaving gawa and shawahid forget facebook and your privacy and storing your information the farishtas will not need proof on the day of qiyama we created our own proof وَالْأَوْجَاءَ الَّتِي لَمْ تَكُنْ مَضَدْ فِي أَسْلَافِهِمُ الَّذِينَ مَضَوْ That plagues and diseases will spread amongst them that were never known or seen amongst their predecessors. أَمَالْ will have an impact. وَلَمْ يَنْقُسُ الْمِكْيَالْ وَالْمِزَانِ إلا أخذ بالسنين وشدة المؤونة وجور السلطان عليهم. They will not cheat in weights and measures, but will be stricken with famine, severe calamity, and Allah will put oppressive rulers over them. ولم يمنع زكاة أموالهم. إلا منع القطر من السماء، and they do not withhold zakat of their wealth، but rain will be withheld from the heavens. and if it were not for the animals، no rain drop، not a single drop would have fallen on earth. ولم ينقض عهد الله وعهد رسوله إلا صلة الله عليهم عدوا من غيرهم. And they do not break the agreement and the covenant with Allah and His Messenger, but Allah will enable the enemies to overpower them and take some of what is in their hands. وما لم تحكم أئمتهم بكتاب الله ويتخير مما أنزل الله إلا جعل الله بأسهم بينهم. And until their leaders do not rule according to the book of Allah and seek all good from that which Allah has revealed, Allah will cause them to fight with one another. Allah will cause disruption and discord and disunity. إذا فعلت أمتي خمسة عشر خسلة حل بها البلا. When my ummah will do fifteen things, they make calamity. They make the destruction. It is impending. It is halal. It is authorized. So is this obstacle there? Is it an opportunity now? All these halat around us to improve in good or improve in bad. Improve in haq or improve in batil. Show Allah what we can do or show Iblis what we can do. So Allah has brought us at our doorstep. Let us utilize it well. You see there was a king, he placed a bowl on the road and he waited to see. The merchants, the courtiers, the ministers all passed, but they did not look at it. Then a peasant came along and he was carrying a load of vegetables. As he came to the boulder, the peasant laid down the goods, moved the stone to the side of the road. With much struggle and strain, he succeeded. But as he was getting to leave, he noticed a purse in the road where the boulder had been. The purse had gold coins. So this peasant learned what many others will never understand. Although the difficulty and hardship it may seem, but there's gold behind it. We need to sacrifice for Allah to get Allah. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا We want to get Allah, we need sacrifice. Hazrat Usaifa radiallahu anhu riwayat Abu Nu'im At the end of the riwayat, you will go through the entire narration, but 
when you see these things فَلْيَرْتَقِبُوا عِنْدَ ذَلِكَ when you see these things then wait number one ri an hamra a red wind the virus is red allah and his rasul know what's the actual meaning when the words came out of the mubarak mouths of janabi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but there's a red wind now wa zalzalatan in earthquakes wa khasfan and the collapsing of the earth wa maskhan and transformation wa qasfan wa ayatin and signs upon signs tataba ka nidamin balin they'll follow in succession like the gems of a necklace ka nidamin balin qutiya silkuhu fatataba like the gems of a necklace whose string is cut and they fall in succession idha ra'aytum an-nas when you will see this then wait for that to happen idha ra'aytum an-nas amatu as-salah when salat will be dead the masajid will be empty people will have time for the places of evil will be full but the places of haq will be empty wa adha'u al-amanah and there will be no such a thing as trust in an entire city you will say he is the only person i can trust wa akalu riba and a riba interest will become the order of the day wa astahalu al kidh and lying will become common wa astakhafu dima and blood will have no value you can invade a country wipe hundreds of thousands of people and it will be a joke it will be like nothing a person will go and he will kill people and not even worry about it wastalu albina in buildings will be high wa ba'uddin bid dunya people will sell their deen for the commodities of this dunya they will let go of their deen to achieve dunya they will sacrifice their deen to get the positions of dunya wa taqatta'ati al-arham breaking ties will be common wa yakunu al-hubbu dha'fan the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be weak wal kidhbu sidqan in lies will be regarded as truth a person who speaks lies will be considered as truthful and his words will be followed all the media all the propaganda houses people are following it totally wal harir libasan in silk garments will be worn men, by men wa zahar al jawru and oppression will become common wa kathra at talaq and talaq will be in big numbers people will easily use as words of talaq wa mautul fujaa and sudden death wa'tu min al khain any person who betrays trust and cannot be trusted people will trust him and a trustworthy person will not be trusted wa kana al matar qaydan the weather patterns will be abnormal wal walad ghaydan and the parents will wish they never gave birth to these children وَفَاضَ اللِّئَامُ فَيْضًا وَغَاضَ الْقِرَامُ غَيْضًا وَكَانَ الْأُمَرَاءُ The riwayat is wrong and will conclude وَشَارَكَتِ الْمَرْأَةُ زَوْجَهَا فِي التِّجَارَةِ And women will accompany the men in business وَتَشَبَّهَ الرِّجَالِ بِالنِّسَاءِ And men will imitate women and women will imitate men وَاكْتَفَ الرِّجَالِ بِالرِّجَالِ men will suffice with men sodomy will become common waqtafa an-nisa bin-nisa and women will suffice with women lesbianism will become the order of the day fal yartaqibu 'inda dhalika 72 points in the riwayat have been mentioned and at the end wait 
for the red wind, for the earthquakes, for the collapsing of the earth, for the transformation, for the tsunamis, for the whirlwinds, for the tornadoes, for the volcanoes, for the cyclones, one after the other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reality of the short life that we have in Tawfiq to practice on what has been said. The amal for today is that a person should pass away what they will in order. ala A person who passes away and he is well in order. Mata ala sabilin wa sunnatin. He dies on the straight path and on the sunnah. Wamata ala tuqan wa shahadatin. And he will pass away on piety and matadam. Wamata makfuran lahu. And he will pass away what his sins been forgiven. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.